The bar gate or north gate dates from Norman times, its earliest feature being the Norman half round arch built around 1175 to 1200. It forms the core of the gate and can be seen in the middle of the central passageway. It was the most important gateway to medieval Southampton and it's here the town broker collected tolls on all merchandise entering or leaving the town. A bridge formerly spanned the wide moat in front of the bar gate and the entrance was defended by a portcullis, the groove for which can still be seen today. Twin drum towers containing arrow slits were added either side of the gateway during the 13th century. The imposing north front with its battlements dates from the late 14th or early 15th century and projects several feet forward of the original gate. These enlargements to the plain Norman gateway made it a very strong defensive work. The loopholes are partially restorations but the central cross loophole above the archway is original. Between the corbels supporting the parapet are matriculations or apertures for dropping stones, molten lead and other missiles on assailants. The two leaden lions which form an ornamental guard to the entrance of the gate date from 1743 when they replaced earlier wooden lions which used to stand at the end of the bridge crossing the wide moat in front of the bar gate. The buttresses flanking the central archway were formerly adorned with two large oak panels painted with the effigies of St Beavis the legendary hero of Southampton, and his giant squire, Ascupart. The metrical romance of Sir Beavis of Hampton, one of the most popular books of the Middle Ages, was founded upon their exploits. The two oak panels were exhibited inside the Guildhall above the archway which later became the Bargate Museum. The north front of the Bargate is decorated with shields bearing the crosses of St Andrew, St George and nine other heraldic shields placed there in honour of the parliamentary representatives, leading burgesses and benefactors of Southampton during the late 17th and 18th centuries. The north front of the Bargate has been the scene of many important ceremonies, particularly those connected with the visits of royalty. Among these may be mentioned the visit of Queen Elizabeth I to Southampton in 1591, attended by her entire court. The Queen was received by the Mayor and Corporation before the Bargate and there presented with a purse containing a gift of £40. King Charles II on his visit to the town in 1669, accompanied by the Dukes of York, Monmouth and Buckingham was also met at the bar gate, the mayor presenting his majesty with a purse containing 150 guineas. The bar gate has also provided the background to grimmer events, in particular the executions that took place here in 1415. In the summer of that year Henry V was in Southampton preparing for the invasion of France which was to result in the victory of Agincourt. And while in Southampton, a plot against his crown and person by his cousin Richard, Earl of Cambridge, Lord Scrope of Masham and Sir Thomas Grey of Northumberland was discovered. The conspirators were beheaded just north of the Bargate a few days before the king set sail for France.